you logged in to Google Search Console only to be greeted by the worst thing possible, missing data. No impressions, no clicks, nothing. But hold on, don't let fear take over. There are reasons behind this vanishing data. And in this video, I'll show you the most common reasons why this happens and the solution to each one. Are you ready? Let's go. The most common reason for missing data is because your site is new. And here you must take a step-by-step -step approach. Google Search Console doesn't show any data unless it knows you are the real deal and verify the site. Think of this like showing your ID before entering a club. If your site is sitting in the not verified section, you gotta verify it using the instructions Google provides. Next, you want to make sure your site is actually online and people can visit the site. Try opening your site in incognito or using a different browser to load the most recent site version. If the site is inaccessible, you have probably found the cause and should work on putting the website online again. Now onto indexing. Google Search Console is like a librarian that only cares about books in its library. If your site isn't in Google's index, aka the library, Search Console will not show anything. So do a Google search using the site operator to see if your site shows up. If this search doesn't show any results, your site is not indexed, and you should work on getting your site indexed by Google. Since Google Search Console only reports on organic clicks from Google, you must check your analytics tool to see if your site is actually getting any visitors. If the analytics shows you are getting traffic from Google, but this is not showing up in Search Console after a few days, then it's a case of missing data. The causes of this problem could be the site is not verified, the site is verified using the wrong protocol, or Google Search Console has reporting issues. I will talk about those last two problems later in the video. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Now back to the video. We know that the internet is huge and Google is very smart to find and crawl pages on its own. But Google relies a lot on links to find those pages to crawl. Following this logic, pages with more links are easier to find than pages with fewer links. So if your site doesn't have many links, it can be harder for Google to find the site and crawl it. This could be a cause of missing data in Google Search Console. Fortunately, there is one thing you can do that makes it easier for Google to find the pages on your site. That thing is submitting a sitemap in Google Search Console. This way, you provide Google with a complete list of URLs to crawl on your site. The method you choose to verify the site in Google Search Console can have an impact on how much data shows up and be the reason for the missing data. To verify a site, you have two options, URL prefix and domain. When you pick the URL prefix, Google Search Console will display data for the exact protocol and subdomain verified. For example, if you verified HTTPS www.site.com, Search Console will not show data for the non-www version of the site. And if the non-www is the main version, you will have the problem of missing data. The solution to this is verifying the site using the domain property method, which is the best option for most people. If you try to access a Google Search Console property you haven't been granted access to, you will see a warning message saying exactly this. The solution is to change to an email address with permission or ask for permission from the website owner. Google isn't perfect and occasionally their services might have issues. So sometimes the reason for missing data is Google Search Console itself. These problems can happen in the form of reporting delays or a complete loss of data. Fortunately, the second one rarely happens. My advice to you is to bookmark the data anomalies page to check if there is anything going on with Search Console and frequently check the search liaison account on Twitter slash X to check what is going on with Google Search Console. If Google Search Console has any problem, the solution is wait for Google to fix the problem. Now you are prepared to fix missing data in Google Search Console. If you want an easier way to access Google Search Console data, or create SEO tests to measure the results of changes you made to your site, consider using SEO testing. We have a 14-day free trial for you to test our tool. Sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.